Hey everyone, Rado here. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge nerd. I love stuff involving mice, keyboards, and all of that. I've owned a lot of mice in my lifetime. You can see them all here. And today I wanted to show you two things you can do to your mouse that will improve it. Now it will cost some money, so if you're not down to spend money, I guess you can just end the video right here. But the two things you can do, you can paracord it, or you can add some hyperglides. So what the paracord does is that it adds a lot less resistance to the cable. You can see the video here that I'm playing it, that compared to a rubber cable, paracords are so much better. It pretty much feels wireless, especially in a bungee. And the hyperglides make them glide across the mouse pad very smoothly, as you can see here. The hyperglides are made of something called a PTFE plastic, which is the same thing as in Teflon tape. They're very low friction, so that's why it's very good for gliding. The reason you would do this compared to getting a wireless mouse is that wireless gaming mice, the good ones, tend to be very expensive. Mice such as my own, G203, are very cheap. It was like 20 bucks, and then I think it's another 10 for the hyperglides and about another 10 for a paracord unless you're making your own. If you don't want to spend a lot and you want to make your own paracord, it'll cost you about two bucks if you go to your local store. It'll be at the arts and crafts section. But I highly suggest buying them because it's a lot less of a hassle. However, if you wanted to make your own paracord, I'll show you how. So I originally did this on my modded G100S. Yes, I drilled holes into it to make it lighter. I love the mouse, but I need my two side buttons. I prefer the shape of the G203 anyways. Anyways, you're first going to want to measure out your cable length and cut the paracord accordingly. It's also probably for the best to measure it a little longer as you can always cut later. Pick up the string in the middle of the paracord and you can save that if you want to, but we're going to take the mouse apart now. Now it's crucial to have backup mouse feet or even buy some hyperglides as replacements as you're going to need to lift up some of them to find hidden screws. Once that is done with, you want to unplug the mouse cable from inside and it's pretty much the same as all mice cables. There should be a black, green, red, and white cable. There may be an extra fifth thicker black cable, but you can actually cut that since it does nothing except add extra strength to the cable. When you first carefully cut and open up the rubber cable, you'll see some mice have a foil wrapped around it for extra stability and weight, but we don't want that. You're going to want to remove that and cut it if you need to and be really careful and ah, uh, Well, if you're stupid like me, you can do a little soldering job later to fix that up. Then you want to open up the end of the USB and start threading everything through. This process kind of takes a little while. But once you're done, plug it back in for a quick test. Wrap up any exposed ends with electrical tape and you're good to go. Now if you're just installing the pre-made paracord, you just take apart the mouse and plug it in. Make sure to do a quick mouse test, but it's otherwise the same process. I also use some sticky tech to hold the cable in place.
The court I made doesn't look as nice as the pre-built one, but it functions the same and that's all that matters. That's it. You have an even better mouse than before and here's a quick playtest. This won't instantly make you a better player, but I am working on a series soon to show you everything that you can do to improve yourself and become a better player, but that's that's something different. Don't have to worry about that. And I will say that after months of using this, I can't go back to regular mice anymore. It's just that hyperglides and paracord are the future. I know there's a mouse coming out called the Glorious Odin that has pre-hyperglides on, and also the final meme mouse comes pre-paracorded, and I think if you're serious about gaming and you want the best of the best for a wired mouse, this is the solution. For sure I'm going to be doing this with every future mouse I own, and that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching.